that means it's time for... Oh, Friday Follies. Of course, Beto's bizarre gestures. What do they mean? And is it appropriate for kids to strike from school over climate change? Joining us now with answers, Raymond Arroyo, Fox News contributor and New York Times bestselling author of the Will Wilder series, including the new Amulet of Power. All right, Raymond, what on earth is, it's like Betamax. It's coming back. <laughs> Betamax. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> It's coming back. Well, he's clearly trying to signal something here, Laura. Now, I did a lot of study of this over the last 24 hours, and I was trained in body language and gestures as an actor, so I'm not coming out of left field with this. Beto's gestures actually tell us a lot about him as a person. Now, it should be said, people use gestures when dealing with spatial concepts, you like directions. That. You do that or, all the time. Or when dealing with abstractions. But Beto O'Rourke's gestures tell us something more. Watch. I just got a call from my wife, Amy, who's back in El Paso, Texas, where she is raising, sometimes with my help, Ulysses, who's 12 years old, Molly, who's 10, and their little brother, Henry, who is eight years old. And she's getting them ready, feeding them, and then taking them to school. I, even though this is the first day, miss them terribly. But I'll tell you this, it's those kids, and it's your kids, and it's your grandkids and the generations that follow that push us out into the country to do this incredibly important work together. There is something that is at play here, yeah. Laura. He beats out every word, but I'm going to tell you what's happening psychologically yeah. beneath the surface. He is a very inarticulate guy, and he's straining for the words, so he's using the gestures to fill the pauses, and he's almost trying to summon the next word, word out, out because this fills the gaps. Space. So it's exactly he, what he's doing. He is, a, he is a man who is a very halting speech. He's unsure of how he's communicating, and he's obviously not confident in what's coming out of his mouth. So this is filling in the gaps. It's like a war happening between what he's saying and what his body's doing. It's fascinating. I watched hours of this today. Oh, no. it, it really, and like, I watched people, the campaign But people say, well, Cruz. Trump uses his hands, which he does. Well, but Trump's hand motions are... But well, we're going to get to that in a moment. Okay. Don't ruin no, that. Don't we're going to get to that. There was a British study, Laura, that showed that gesturing might foster creative thinking. Mm. If so, Beto might join Mensa at this point. Then again, there are other people who wildly gesticulate, and well, it doesn't always help. Again, you know what Mariah's doing here and what she often does? Straining she, for the notes. Yeah, she does this to fill in the notes that don't come. He's doing almost the same okay, thing. It's you know, an amazing phenomenon. Mariah though. has done this for years. It's called the rainwater right. gesture. When she's singing, <laughs> she does this. She does this. I'm like, well, wait, just hit the note. If this you is don't hit have the, note. the notes, you fill in with the but gestures. But he has, his gestures go in odd well, he's gangly. Odd places, he's gangly, and the body's out hard. of. Yeah. I mean, it's like it's a. Yeah. Well, look. If the presidential thing doesn't work out for Beto, there is a backup career, and I thought of this repeatedly. He could always be a signer. Ooh. That that's would be very. Good. By the way, very this is helpful. a fraudulent signer from Tampa. She was saying nothing, Laura. Oh, they busted just, her. She's just making it up. She's <laughs> just making it up. How horrible. So anyway, rather than analyze the gestures of Beto, as they should have done yesterday, as we just did. The media went right to the political. Watch this. It's been more than noted today that this president has his own vast collection of hand gestures. Oh, yes, small hands. I do. I looked. I said, I do. This is fake news put out by the media. Bing, bing, bong, and dat. Bing, bong. Huh. Bing, 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 bong, bong, bing, bing, bing. You know what that is, right? The verbal and manual stylings of our president say nothing of his newest challenger on the Democratic side. Now, the difference here is hmm. Trump uses gestures to accentuate Word. and underscore. He's not filling gaps or filling time. It's, it, he's at, when he goes bing, bing, ball, he's actually using that That's to like Don underscore. Right, it's that for comedic like Don, effect. It sounds like Don Rickles, yeah. does it not? All right, across the globe today, in some 500 cities, students decided to ditch school. <laughs> convenient. <laughs> Where do I go to sign up for that? And protest climate change and demand action. Here's a bit of the action from D.C. today. We don't want coal, we don't want oil. We want to put the Green New Deal in that. It is time 
for us to stop watching. It is time for us to fight back. We are the generation that will lead international action. Anybody with common sense and any sort of hope for our generation and for future generations should be here marching with us today. There's just way too many, way too much proof that it's not a hoax. What happened to truancy, Laura Ingram? <laughs> what happened to... Well, it's, you're, you're not supposed to just leave school but because I will say, you can't. But celebrated by adults who indulge them. Well, uh, and who, I will, who encourage them. Encourage them. And by the way, it's a lot easier than Algebra 2. Right. Or Pre-Cal. Well, or Calculus. Or Statistics. Or Microbiology. But Laura, when we're beneath proficiency in reading, oh, in math, in science in the United States... the Koreans and the Indian or well, Indians are out there doing climate well, they, change. Well, they are too, but they're way above us academically. Yeah. Okay, they can they afford it. Maybe they have the time. They, have they the can time afford it. it. But here's the, the problem. Why are we training these kids to be professional activists? activists. Train them to do something, then you can get put a politically motivated because you have a stake well, look, in the system. If you, if you I learn, don't like this. No, using no, no. Kids using, as but if you, if you learn something, you go out in the world and you study it and learn it, then fine. Or if no. you've just done something, but just... I'm 14, pay attention to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, the New York Times had this little opinion piece. It was a kid reading to adults in the library, teaching them about climate change. The world is big and I am small. One day I wish to see it all. The earth's in trouble, hear her call. Goodbye, New York and Miami, both cities swallowed by the sea. Whose fault is all this climate mess? You grown-ups must confess, it's no time for celebration. You totally screwed my generation. Mm. Lovely. What a, what a <laughs> long fellow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, he should go to elocution class, because I didn't know what he was saying Byron the time. and Keats all combined. You know what? Write a report, read something about climate change. We don't need your activism. No, now. no can do. Mm -hmm. All right. There's a tendency, by the way, for the left to use tragedy to not just win a political argument, but to circumscribe limit speech in the process. Tucker Carlson's here late on a Friday night to explain. Next.